Uh, the, uh, your, uh, 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 what? What? Let's, let let's hop into this thing. Let's hop into this thing. Live. All possible features. The Volver Digital. Ah. Wow. I want to play the game. Let's play the game. Let's play the game. Wait. Adventure mode. I'm gonna adventure all over the place. It's Sam's room. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Jot. Jot lived in the land of Mojo, a Mojo. land of creativity. Mojo was ruled by the gentle queen, Chroma. Chroma? He defended the land from the nefarious sorcerer, Humgrump. Humgrump. Which everyone very much appreciated. That's good. Good lad. Well done. Oh, a cracking job. George was also a writer. Oh. And would transcribe his many adventures in book form. That's cool. These tales were avidly read by all the people of the land, who found them quite gripping. Gripping indeed. Jot awoke one fine morning and pluckily leapt from his bed. From afar, he could hear some rather exciting music. He got dressed and went to investigate. Chapter One. Chapter One. Some serious beeswax. Beeswax. Music was really booming. Oh. I don't know what that means. I'm getting them. Can I go in my house? Oh. Look at that. Really booming. Hey. This was the house of the good wizard Moonbeard. Jod's close oh my friend goodness. and mentor. You've gone crazy. Ah, Jot, my lad. He explained. I'm on a roll here, traveling to new musical realms. Since you're here, lad, I have a small favor to ask. Wax. I need more wax, lad. To press more records, you know. Records. Would you go to Honey Peak and get some wax from Benny B? No. Pip here will accompany you. 
Pip. A mini quest. Poo ha. Woo ha. You take care of the goblins. I'll haul the wax back here for ya. Oh yeah, there'll be goblins. No sweat for you though. Right, Jot? Nope. Oh. Are you here, this lad? I reckon it could be a sc scooch louder. All aboard the Moonbeard Express. Destination Dance City. Dance City. The woods beckon. Hit. You do that and you hit. What pow? What pow? Ooh. A pow, a pow, a pow. I'm getting all the light bulbs. Shift, I roll. Okay. We knock down this tree. What does this say? To Tome Tower. Uh, do I want to go to Tome Tower? The gate swung open for the plucky squire. Hey, nice. I feel like I want to go to Tome Tower. Jot! That's not the way to Honey Peak. Okay, I guess I don't want to go to jo uh, Tome Tower. This looks like it's the end of the book. Just saying. Oh, okay. Honey Peak. Oh. Face to jump. Leapt nimbly onwards. I'm leaping. <gasps> now this looked really quite precarious. Whoa. A goblin. Oh, uh oh, there's a honey badger. Ah, the top of the honey peak. The view is incredible. Huh? Now that right there is a massive owl. That's Tome Tower, that is. Nice. Uh-oh. Whoa, that's a honey badger eating Benny B's honey. Being on her toes, Jot, a hungry badger. A, hun a hungry honey badger can be really cranky. Okay. Oh heck, here we go. The honey badger seemed rather annoyed. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my goodness. For a dust up.
Ow. <laughs> Damn. The beast was bested. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. The plucky squire triumphant. No match for me. Ah, back in the hive. Feels good. Yo, many thanks, Jot. You did me a solid. That honey badger was really messing with my beeswax. Anyhow, gang, what brings you here? Moonbeard sent us, Benny. You could really do with some of that beeswax if you have some spare. For sure, Pip. My man, I owe you guys. Here you go. Compliments to the whiz. Uh-oh. Huh? What's going on? What's with all this ominous noise thing? Music. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, the book's freaking out. Down they fell. Oh no. Oof. Oof. It was time to confer with Moonbeard. Confer. Yep, it's Humgrump, all right. Always up to treacherous trickery, that one. <laughs> There's something rather odd about the magic he used. And this is not usually how the story goes, you know. This is to say, Arm. <laughs> Forget about that, Harum. This is a job for the plucky squire, Jot. Um, Grump is at Tome Tower. Head there and make sure that creepy little twerp doesn't cause any more bother. Hello? Who are you? It was Violet. Violet. Violet was a trainee witch with a love of art. And Jot's childhood friend. Hey. Our best buds. Hey, Jot. We've got another hum, hum grump situation, huh? Moonbeard gave me the skinny. What? That Weasley wizard is at Tome Tower, you kids. Head over there and jot. Put a stop to Hum Grump's mal malarkey. I'll look into that strange green magic and have a donut. But that's by the by. Later. Goodbye and good luck. Although, you never really need it, jot. No lie. I'm pumped that I'm going to get to see the plucky squire in action. Kapow! Lead the way, Jot. Oh, I'm getting more of these real quick. Oh, there's m mice with... Plucky squire set off to the tome tower. Is this a string in his step? What'd I get? I got a map. You got a new piece of artwork. Press tab to show in the gallery. Oh. Some early concepts of game environments. This would eventually become the green lands in the early chapters of the game. Nice.
A spring in his step, a gleam in his plucky eye. The blank swung blank. Uh oh. What the? The swung gate. The open swung gate. What happens if the open swung gate? Okay, I guess they don't like when the open swings gate. Nice, you always have a way with words, Jot. Thank you. Hello? Martina. Greetings, brave warriors. My name is Martina. Nice to meet you. You adventurers cut down fearsome enemies and I slash prices. Let me show you what I have for sale. A new scroll art. Sword throw badge? I don't know what that means. What the heck? It used to be a duck. It was a duck. We knew we were on a feature of boxing minigame, but it took a while to land on exactly who your opponent would be. As it turns out, it wouldn't be a giant muscular duck. That's... That's unfortunate. Sure, you got the sword throw badge. Press to throw your sword and again to achieve it. You want to test this move out? Sure. Well now, mini beard. Time to practice throwing your sword, Jot. Good going. If you want to keep praying, check out the board. Otherwise, leave via the exit at the bottom of the page. Lovely to make your acquaintance. Be sure to check it again. Next time we meet, I'll have new stock. You keep saving the land from bad business, and my business will save you from bad deals. So long, brave warriors. flying birds what are you oh where'd you go find a glitch bird you found a lost glitch bird it'll return to its homeland okay whatever that means to tome tower well there it is that mysterious ancient owl all the knowledge of Mojo is supposed to be stored in there, you know? Whoa! Not sure the ground should be doing this. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh bother. Chapter 2 
Tome Tower. Our heroes hug on to the cliff's edge by their fingernails. When suddenly, they were grabbed. Whoa, who's saving us? And hoisted up. By whom? By whom? By Thrash. Thrash? Thrash was a mountain troll. And George and Violet's childhood friend. Oh, another childhood friend. The trio had not been together for quite a while. Nice. And so were very happy to be reunited. Yeah. Thrash! Oh boy, you really saved our skins! Are we happy to see you? Triple trouble, I'm together again! Mojam! Mojam. I'm just stoked I can find you, dudes! After all this craziness kicked off, I checked in with Moonbeard. He told me you were both heading to Tome Tower. I figured I'd help you on your way. The path is wrecked, huh? Well, there's more than one route to Tome Tower. Let's go down to the ground. Oh, we just jump off. Okay. Sure. Huh? This is really quite high, isn't it? Well, if anyone can lead the way down, it's Thrash. Let's do this! Okay. See ya! Oh, goblin. Oh, goblin. Goblin. Hey, and here was Thrash waiting on the ground as cool as a cucumber. Nice climbing, dude. That was pretty cool. You both got down that cliffside with banging style. Cliffside with banging style. You had a good rhythm going on there, dudes. You think? You know, I did feel rather graceful. Sort of like a hopping, mount a hopping mountain rabbit. Well, now we're down on the ground. Best get on to Tome Tower. Lead the way, plucky squire. Okay. Let me get more money. Whoa. Look at those bouncing boulders. They're just vanishing into thin air. Huh. Majorly weird. They can't see 3D. To Tome Tower. A bull! It looks angry. Good job. None of us is wearing red. Phew. I'm wearing red. Jot's wearing red. Ew. Is it red? I suppose it is kind of a red. More of a crimson than a scarlet. I don't think bulls are that picky. Whoa. Whoa. 
Wow. Yeah, I got another page. Tab. Jot early character design. This was before Jot was a writer. It didn't have a quill in its hat. He already ha has that plucky disposition, though. Okay. Yeah, get that hat off your head. I need a key. Hold up! Is that Moonbeard? He looks much more petite than usual. Oh, that's not Moonbeard Thrash. That's Mini Beard. He's like a tiny version of Moonbeard. Usually you'll find him at Moonbeard's house helping him out. Today it looks like he's out and about. Hey, Mini Beard, what's cooking? Yo. You'll need a key if you want to be journeying onward. If you walk to the right here, you just might find one. Free advice from old Mini Beard. Thanks, Mini Beard. Helpful fellow. You know, if you're stuck on something and Mini Beard is around, always pays to ask him. He's full of answers. Well, I'm full of solutions. <laughs> Jump. Uh-oh. Oh. Got it. Nice. And you break all the bushes, you get all the thought bubbles, the light bulbs. You got the key. I knew you'd do it. Thanks, Mini Beard, dude. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, artichoke. Here was a secluded forest. Ah, greetings, travelers. Three. My name is Topsy. Hey, Topsy. I see you are on a quest of some kind. You know, Topsy may be able to help you. But there is something you could perhaps assist me with first. Namely, my tummy. It is empty. I left my biscuits around here somewhere, you see. In the landscape, it seems to have changed somewhat. Which has resulted in those biscuits becoming lost. A cat shouldn't be parted from her their biscuits. We'll find them for you, Topsy. Oh, that would be extraordinarily helpful. A little advice. There's a word in that sentence just there. That might be the key to all these landscape shifting antics. You might identify which word is causing all the mischief by giving it a good whack. Included 
Jot found Topsy's biscuits. Oh. Secluded rune. It's just like chicory. like chicory oh sorry my bad Just like chicory. Oh, I did it. My biscuits! How I have dreamed of this moment, travelers. Travelers, you may have my sincerest thanks. My prospect of this snack brings a smile to my face. <laughs> what, what the heck? This land is full of puzzles and trickery. Always remember, things are sometimes not what they seem. When you get stuck, try to see things from a different angle. Good luck, biscuit saviors. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I'm out of here. I'm gonna take the forest word with me. I guess I can't. Okay. Two Tome Tower. We meet again. Take a take care to take a look at my current selection. Sure. Oh my goodness, that's expensive stuff. Jump attack badge. I'll take the scroll, I guess. <gasps> Moonbeard. Oops. Aiden would hate this game. Why would you say that? It's just like chicory. Early concept design. Moonbeard before his sunglasses. Dang, he looks cooler with them. Oops. Look how Aiden would love this game. See, you you take forest and then you replace it and then it's like, whoa, it changed. Look at that, look at that. That's an Aiden move right there. Oh, Our trio uh, stopped in their tracks. There, on the horizon. Uh oh. Loomed Tome Tower. Tome Tower. Uh oh. <gasps> this tree is sparkling. Whoa, it got dark around here pretty fast. There's some magic afoot. Everything feels kind of fizzy. Strange electricity. Oh my goodness, that's a bug. Someone turned the lights off. Yeah. 
tap. Concept art of Pip. Early con character design. Pip was originally a trickster kind of character. Turned out to be evil. The Pip now feature in the game. It's all good, we think. We think. Oh, no. You don't know if... Why is it weird? Weird. Oh. Careful. Oh no. Oh, booming bolts. Very metal. This strange electricity was spawning monsters. It's the darkness. Ow, that hurt. Ow, that hurt. I am, I am in need of some health. Well, that was fast. I got, I got the health I needed. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. young adventurers are you on your way to tome tower yep that's where we're heading best beware a dark wizard occupies the tower this magic is causing pandemonium i mean look at this lovely bridge unmitigably obliterated oh yeah wrecked hmm is there another way across the waters? These bookish lands are usually so peaceful. All this mayhem is not conductive to reading. Oh, I'm not done. A cave entrance. Promising, promising. Into the cave. It's dark in here. Man, real gloomy. Dig the acoustics, though. Lead on, Jot, my dude. Your plucky glow will light the way. Uh oh I can't get up there I 
How do I get up there? Ugh, I don't have a double jump. Ja explored the impassable cave. That's the right way to go. Hey, I made it through. Would you look at that? We crossed the river. On we go. Hey, I, I didn't get much, uh, Stuff since the last time you were here. Oh, there's a bush down there. I don't, I can't get it. I can't get the bush. We meet again! Sword throw. Um. I don't have enough for that. Sure. You got a new piece of artwork. Some early concepts of game environments. An enchanted place. Okay, up I go. Books? Oh, there are all these books. Really eerie. Pretty cool visual though. What the heck? had been purposely stacked. Candyland. Um, I got the key. Uh oh. Enemies. Easy. 
big blocks of books. Big box of books. Pages were scattered on the ground. Pages were stacked on the ground. Oh. Huh. Uh oh, you fall in the hole. That wretched fool Jot, he will get what he deserves. Uh Okay, that's a bit creepy. The time is near, that dratted plucky squire. Tome Tower. So, this is where it all kicks off. A historical location. And no mistake. Huh? Oh, bye. Well, hello and goodbye, I guess. No idea who that was. So much oddness around these parts. Anyway, here we are, Tome Tower. It looks like Hum Grump is still up there on the roof. It's time for the plucky squire to go take care of that creep. We'll stay down here, dude. We don't want to cramp your style. This one is... This is one of those dramatic, heroic kind of moments, you know? During your big showdown, you don't want us two dorks mooching around in the background. Nope, we'll mooch down here instead. But we'll be cheering you on all the way. Mooching and cheering, Jot, that's more our style. Go get that chump. Chump, chump, chump. I'm not going to wish you luck, you don't need it. You're the plucky squire. <laughs> yeah, I am the plucky squire. Go on, Jot. You've got this in the bag. Humpy Grumpy is about to fall off his uh, fall of his wall. Off his wall. That's supposed to be off. I think. Okay. See ya. Up Jot the stairs. made his way up the steep steps. Steep steps. I'm here. Who are your knights? Aha! The plucky, plucky squire. I've been waiting for you. So glad to see you made it to Tome Tower. You might be wondering what Hum Grump is. I doing here? Well, I had hunch grump. I had a hunch grump. I might find something interesting in this old tower. And something interesting I did indeed find. A book. It was hidden away in a very secret chamber because this is a very special book. The title of this very special book is The Plucky Squire. What the heck? How'd you get my book? Yes, that's right. This book is all about you and me and all who live in this dratted land. It is the story of our lives. It turns out, you see, that our land is, of Mojo is just a setting in a storybook. 
Hard to believe, I assure you, it's true. What I'm holding here is a copy of that storybook. A book within the book, if you will. I read the book. It's very interesting. You and that witch girl adventuring through the land, meeting up with the mountain troll, making your way here to meet me. In fact, I read ahead to this very chapter. I've seen what happens next. We fight here on the roof. Any guesses how that turns out? Yeah, I win. And so, the bloody squire once again defeated the wretched wizard Humgrum. You win, as you always do. You know, this is one of, of, of a series, and in each of those books, you win. Every single stinking time! Because you are the plucky squire, the hero of this story, the boy who can do no wrong. Always victorious. Even the little stories you write, beloved by all. Infuriating. Like a, like a mosquito in my cardigan, yes. That is an adequate metaphor. Me, I'm the villain, the talentless wizard who can do no right, destined to be beaten forever. At least, that is how it has been up until now. But maybe it doesn't need to be that way. Maybe even Hum Grump could get a little glory for once if... The plucky squire were to be plucked from the book if he were to be ejected. Oh. No, my sword. Oh my goodness. I'm not in the book anymore. How do I get back into the book? <laughs> what the heck? Uh. Well, worth a go, I guess so. Hey, that's me. I mean, I would have just tried rewriting the book rather than pushing me out of the book. But okay. Why are there beetles on your desk, my dude? Are those the Sony headphones? The PlayStation headphones? The Plucky Squire? Oh, hello! Is there someone out there? Oh, is that... Me talking? From the... Would you be so kind as to open the lid of this lunchbox? I can try. Chromed out beetle. Cheese? Oh, it's the book. Do you remember me? Jot, we met in your book. I'm not actually from there, you know. Us bookworms travel around a fair bit from book to book. 
but you know you but you jot are a character from a book and shouldn't really be out here it's humdrump's magic that blasted you out of the page and onto this desk isn't it we'll have to get you back into your book jot it is of utmost para paramountsy para blah, blah, I prepare opposite I don't know that word in other words very important you know there's some intriguing items on this desk some of them might help you return head around the corner to the left and we'll try to find one try and find one not the chromed out beetle oh hello there again do you see the magical swirly green thing it's a meta magic portal that is it seems to allow travel between different worlds most characters cannot travel through these portals or pass between realms but jot you've already made that leap once maybe you can do it again try jumping through the portal young squire What the heck? Am I still holding the grape? Remarkable! Some of the meta magic must have rubbed off on you, Jot. Like me, it seems you now have the power to leap between worlds. Now, this world here is a sketch that was drawn by the occupant of this room. And the owner of your storybook, Jot, a young boy named Sam. He's a very creative child. You'll find sketches all over the, this desk. Since you can jump into them, maybe you can use them to get around. <laughs> well, it's, this is weird. Exceptional! You really can bring items between realms. This may be handy. Low energy. Too hungry to move. Too hungry to converse. Please get me a snack. Poor Bunford over there. He looks famished. There's no nourishment to be found in a sketch. But maybe there's something out there on the desk. You know? Maybe you can bring items between worlds. It's worth a shot. I already did, buddy. Here, take my grape. Oh, so hungry. But that food item you have, not really into it, honestly. Well, stop being so picky, my guy. You want a carrot? Okay, I'll bring you a carrot. That's <laughs> Interesting. Oh my goodness, you just ate that in one bite delicious carrot boost energy levels restored oh am i in your way sorry about that here let me scooch a carrot is a cone of golden life force what the heck why are there dead beetles everywhere <laughs> Four. In I go. Out I go. Hey, Paige. Good going, young squire. I believe that the item that can help you get back to your world is further ahead. But listen. On your way, you may run into creepy crawly 
Colapadura. Beetles! Sam likes to keep them as pets, you see. Beware, Jot. Don't get eaten. It simply wouldn't do. Do beetles eat? People? What do beetles eat? Are they carnivorous? There's a sword right there. Oh. Knock down the oh. oh, not hard enough, apparently. By Tony Tungsten, Machines of Mayhem. That doesn't seem good for future me. I need the dice, the die. I rolled a two. That <laughs> looks weird. Beetle. I don't want to file down in the beetle den. Got me. Jot! You made it! My fears have been allayed. It seems not that nothing can hinder the plucky squire. On that very note, while you are here, there's something that you really must observe. He drew me. These sketches of you, quite a, quite a remarkable likeness, I must attest. The person who drew all this is called Sam. He is the boy who lives in this room and is, is the owner of your storybook. As you might be able to tell, he is very fond of you and your adventures. I'm glad that you got to see this, Jot, to see how much you mean to him. Okay. Uh, but there is no time to dwell on that. Your quest to re-enter the book is near its pinnacle. The item you need is just beyond this sketchbook. Press on. Oh. Oh. Ew. 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 Can I go into the sketchbook? How does that work? Legos.
Oh oh. Uh oh. That's how I get up. Oh my goodness, that bug is crazy. In I go. You can't eat me in here. No siree. I'll bring the dice with me. What the heck is this? A power glove? You got the turn gauntlets. Now he has the power to manipulate his storybook. Rescue went, went next to the book to open it. Okay. You got the gauntlets. Exceptional procure, procurement. Head back to your book, post haste. I think you'll find that the gauntlets will help you return home. One last thing before you leave this table, Jot. It is very important. Beware of Humgrump. He wishes to take over your book. You have to stop that from happening. Not just for the sake of the citizens of your book, but for all the children who will read and be inspired by your book. Sam is one of those children, Jot. You know, us bookworms, we're all ab we're able to glimpse the past, present, and even the future. I've seen what I seen that Sam will one day grow up to be a writer and illustrator himself. You'll create a series of very popular children's books with very lucrative merchandise tie-ins and brand integrations. Sam's books will go on to inspire many other children. That is, if he ever actually writes them. If Humgrump takes control of your book, the story will get worse. Books with bad stories get put away on the shelf. No one reads them anymore. Those books lose all their life and cease being an inspiration to anyone. Your book will no longer inspire Sam, and then who knows what path he will take. Do not let that happen, Jot. Return now and stop, Humgrump. Oh, the book's right there. Hey. Hey, it's the book. It's my book. It's my book, guys. It's, look, it's actually it's my book. I'm going back to my book. Okay. I couldn't open the book without my ga the gauntlets. Interesting. Hey. In I go. Hey. Jot, my lad, welcome back to Mojo. We have much to discuss. Chapter 3 Moonbeard. Oh. Hmm, I see the feature rather seem to feature rather prominently in this chapter. Better put my best foot forward then. Okay. Greetings, lad. Hey Jot, glad you're back in 
back here in one piece. I suppose you must have a great number of questions, lad. The answer to the first question is, yes, I am aware of how cool these sunglasses look. The answer to the second, the second question is, yes, our entire world is indeed a land in a storybook. Bananas, huh? I've kept this knowledge a closely guarded secret for many a year. Somehow that greasy nincompoot poop humgrump found out. Very regrettable. Now he knows the truth. Who knows what mischief he's planning? I have a hunch that big trouble is on the way. But that just means, young squire, that we must be double the trouble. Follow me. Double the trouble. <sighs> First order of business. Getting in and out of the book. See the green sparkly stuff over there? Yeah, I do. Meta magic, that is. It lets you break the fourth wall. Which is another way of saying a jump out of the book. Walk into the portal and try holding the E button. What's the E button? Not entirely sure, but you should press and hold it. Sure, buddy. How would I go? Testing, testing, ahem. Uh -huh. I'm talking to you via rune tooth headsets. You know, I'm suddenly feeling rather parched. Wizards are like plants. We must keep hydrated. Use your page or abilities to get me something to drink. Approach the edge of the book and see what you can do. <laughs> Here we go, let's take a look at this. Seems like you can use A and D to turn pages. Best get to it then. You see that glow around the edges of the paper? That's the book telling you there's something useful on its pages. Try jumping in and seeing what you can find. <laughs> My fizzy pop, that will do very nicely. Head back here and drop off that pop. Drop off that pop. Where do I, oh, no, I get my sword back? A new piece of artwork. New piece of artwork. First sketches five. Sketching how top down character interactions might look. Featuring early Moonbeard's design. Oh, like. Cataclysm caves. They're not particularly dangerous. I'm sure you'll be totally fine. The wizard fibbed. Use a portal return jot. Oh, look at my house, though. My underpants are still on the. Savior the glitch birds. Turn to its home with joy in its little heart. Okay. I don't know where its home is. Can't go any farther, I guess. A new piece of artwork. Nice. One white dominoes pattern same on both sides of a domino. 
first interaction, interactive domino objects in our game were just normal dominoes. We realized it would make life much easier. It could only fall one way. However, however so the one way domino object was born. Interesting. Any other cool stuff around here? No, it doesn't all seem like it. Hey, I'm coming back, buddy. Here's your fizzy pop. Pop time! Ah, that's the ticket. Thanks, lad. Those turn gauntlets can be very handy, don't you think? I was the one that put them on the desk. I stored a number of useful items out there, but there is one small problem. I'm not sure of their precise location. Things get moved around. Sam is full of energy, you know. It's chaos out there. When you need one of those items on the desk, you'll just have to search for it yourself. Last point of order. Mini beard, yo. I hear you've already met. Mini beard is a tiny simulacrum. Simulacrum of me. I created him to help out around the house. He's quite helpful. And rather good at puzzles, you know. If you're having trouble with a puzzle and you see him around, why not ask his advice? There's a lot of wisdom stored in that tiny bearded head. Jot! Our land has never been troubled by something quite like Humgrump's meta magic before. There may be great upheavals and big battles ahead. But I have faith you'll rise to whatever challenges are thrown our way. You're the plucky squire, after all. I believe in you. Always have, lad. Now, I expect that your friends are waiting for you. For you. If you leave the book and turn to the next page, I think you'll find them. Okay. We've lost Jot. I can't believe it. We shouldn't have just let him come up here by himself. We should have had his back. But what could we have done? We're not warriors like him. Never have been. Never will be. We will protect Mojo now. He's gone. He's, he's gone. Oh, no, no. I'm not gone. Whoa. Jot! Dude! You're all right. Wait, you're not a ghost, are you? Of course he isn't, Thrash. Look at his face. That's his normal squiggly, squidgy face. So happy to see it. Jot, where were you? Hello, gang. Moonbeard, is that you? Indeed, I'm talking to you via a device known as a rune tooth headset. This is a strange, magical form of communication known as a conference call. All very exciting. Now listen up. This business with Humgrump is rather worrying. We must consult with Queen Chroma at Ardia City. You three should head there now. I've got some wizard business to attend to and a donut to eat. I'll join you kids later. Violet Thrash, I'll fill you in on the situation while you travel. Moonbeard, out. Conference call. 
Well, you heard him. A trip to Artie, a city, my hometown. Oh, Jot. I'm so glad you're okay. Come on, let's scoot. Oogie. Nice. I got my sword back. And so our heroes set off to Artia City to Art visit the good queen Art. Chroma. Art. Art. Because art. Because it's all about art. Chapter 4. A Treacherous Trail. I'm almost already halfway and I feel like I'm still in the tutorial. Sonnet Swamps. On the way to Artia, our heroes took a shortcut through the aquatic land known as <sighs> the Sonnet Swamps. Oh no. Ribbit. Well, this is unknown to territory, kiddos. Jot, your story has never taken you to this area. You're off script now. No happy endings guaranteed. You could get splatted, eaten by a huge frog. Who knows? Although, these swamps are usually rather cultured, as far as I gathered. The residents here are quite keen on poetry. If you ever wanted to hear a snail recite verse, here's your chance. Nevertheless, you... Bad reception. Moonbeard? Looks like Rune Tooth doesn't work so well in these swamps. I guess we'll get connected once we're on the other side. This bug looks rather disagreeable. Paul's dead now. It's dead. Dead, dead. They're all dead. All the bugs are dead. All the bugs are dead. Uh oh. Whoa. Look at the size of that big gnarly uh thing. A snail. Green lightning struck the, with furious sound. This insect's nest broke through the ground and thence flew the bugs. Really not a fan of these punky bugs. Okay. Snails are not bugs, by the way. We are m mollusks. Big difference. Sure. Oh my goodness, this is a big book. Dang, this place is even with bugs. Hello, little goblin. I have a task for you, my rot rotund purple friend. Concerning that wretched squire. I booted him out of the book, you know. But he's a persistent little creep. He may still be out there with an eye on causing hum grump trouble. But you see, hum grump will bring the trouble to him. Take a shot of my me meta magic and leap through this pretty portal. Set yourself free of these pages and go bully that wretched pest. Oh. Oh, it's out. Side. See ya.
Got it. I'm going down here. That didn't give me many light bulbs. I wanted more. More light bulbs! Give me all the light bulbs. Ah! Ah! Got him. So, this must be one of those portals Moonbeard was talking about. And you jo can just jump right out of our world through this thing? Onto a desk in someone's room? Crazy stuff, man. And on that desk is a storybook. In which we're all living? I'm a character in a story? My whole life is just a plot line. Sorry, it's just a bit much to take on board. Although it figures that I'm just a supporting character in someone's story. I just wish I'd been written a little more cool. See ya. He vanished. He must be in the other realm now. I wonder if he can still I guess to him the drawings on a page not really mm. I want to find where that guy went where'd you go buddy Uh, big, big boy. Okay. Tic tac toe. Horse. Is there anything special here? No. I can turn the page though, apparently. What's here? Something special here? No, can't tell. I don't know. It makes a noise when I look at it. Oh my goodness. Some bugs. Got them all. Nice. Oh, it's just a one big roundabout.
Hey guys, can I like throw this to you? No. Got him. Interesting. I don't think that really helps me. back back in our world again as simple as that I really wonder what it's like out there it's fine I exploded. A huge bug sat in the middle of the path. Humongous bug? Looks like it's full of water. If it wasn't so huge, we could get around it and be on our way. of bugs I can't dang sad a tiny frog I'd say huge frog I'm gonna say huge frog Cause why not? The rusty gate was closed, so it's huge. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Can't fight. I mean, nothing out here is gonna really help me, right? Hmm. The moat was completely drained of water. 